Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Medium. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing well. So Virgo, let's see what's going on in your love life. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising in Virgo. What's going on in Virgo's love life? What is going on in Virgo's love life? Hmm. Okay, King of Cups. What's going on in Virgo's love life? Oops, it was the King of Wands. What is going... Ooh. Oh, okay. Five of Wands, Queen of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. Clarify the King of Cups. Clarify the King of Cups. So the King of Cups is someone who's very emotional. This is someone who carries lots of deep feelings and emotions, but sometimes the King of Cups isn't very, um, very open, isn't very open to sharing just how deep his feelings and emotions are. Typically, this is someone who may carry deep feelings for you, but will put you through a lot before they can share how they truly feel. Um, clarify the King of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. This is someone who it's like because they're so sensitive and because they feel so deeply, um, they do, they take forever, okay, to share their deep feelings and emotions because they don't want to get hurt. Clarify the King of Cups. Clarify. Oops. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this King of Cups. more about the king of cups Tell me about this king of cups all right six of wands let's pull one more tell me more about this king of cups four of pentacles on the back wheel of fortune hmm interesting Okay, this is someone where it's like, um, I do not feel like this person is prideful. I don't feel like they are a bad person. I just feel like they're very sensitive. And because of that, they tend to be very shy when they are in love or when they do have romantic feelings. Um, in Clarity of the King of Cups, you do have the Eight of Swords. This is someone who has been stuck on you for a very long time. This is someone who has had feelings for you for a very long time, um, Virgo. But the thing is, they're not assertive when it comes to approaching you, when it comes to pursuing you, they do pursue you. If they didn't, the Seven of Pentacles wouldn't be here. They have been pursuing you for a long time because the Seven of Pentacles represents being persistent, someone who has put in lots of effort, you know, someone who has not stopped putting in effort to get what it is that they want. But I feel like you were unable to see their efforts because they were not very assertive. They didn't show you or they were not bold when showing you how they feel. In Clarity of the King of Cups, you have the Six of Wands. So with the Six of Wands here, their true desire is to overcome this. Their true desire is to have victory with you. That's what the Six of Wands represents, victory. But the thing is, with the Four of Pentacles, this person is so cautious and I see them in protective mode where it's like they are guarding and protecting themselves and they're not sharing their, their, they're not sharing their pentacles with you. They're not sharing themselves with you. It's like, I want to know what's, what's, what's going on with this person. We'll look more into it. I don't feel like they are a bad person. I don't. 
Um, I just feel like they're so scared to tell you how they feel. This is someone who is very sensitive, you know, and I feel like they may have played games with you to protect themselves from getting hurt. If that makes sense. It's like, this is someone who likes to come off as a player. You even see here with the King of Cups, they're holding a card in their hand and they're holding back this, this cup, this offer. It's like, nope, before I share how I feel, before I give you this offer, I'm gonna put you through some tests first. I'm gonna play some games first. Um, But yeah, this is someone who may have been a player or they like coming off as a player to seem tough, to seem like they're not sensitive in order to hide their feelings when they've actually been drowning in their feelings and emotions for you. You see this King of Cups here, he's on top of the water. You know, this is someone who you make them feel very overwhelmed. Um, you do have the Wheel of Fortune. I wanna look more into this Wheel of Fortune. It was on the back of the deck. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Four of Cups. And then on the back you have Justice. Hmm. So the Wheel of Fortune is a karmic wheel. It says you either have fortune on your side or you have misfortune. It all depends on what your actions were in the past. Um, when I clarify the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Four of Cups, which represents rejection. I feel like this individual is, I feel like they do have some karmic debt due to what they did to you in the past. Because with the Four of Cups, it's like they fear being rejected. They fear you rejecting them because they recognize that now the tables have changed or they, they recognize that the tables have turned. So perhaps in the past, you were the one who was being more persistent. You could have been like the chaser, um, you know, like that very unhealthy, very toxic runner chaser dynamic that totally should not be romanticized. But a lot of people find themselves in relationship dynamics like that when you're dealing with someone who may be prideful or someone who may be afraid to get hurt. And I feel like in the past, you were so open to this person. You made your feelings and intentions quite clear, but they were running away. And now the tables have turned and they're the one who is having to now share how they feel for you. And they're scared that due to what it is that they did in the past, that you will reject them. And they know that even if you reject them, it would be a fair decision made by you because the justice is here. The justice card only comes out if there was an injustice in the past. You know, so they know that they're getting their karma. They know it's like what goes around comes back around. They realize that something here has backfired. Wow. King of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands. The Hierophant. Clarify the King of Wands. The Moon. The World. Clarify the King of Wands. The Emperor, Ten of Swords, on the back, Queen of Wands. Hmm. Okay. Excuse me. So, the King of Wands here, your person is in a very tight situation. 
Okay, and by the way, feel free to to reverse the energy or reverse the role. Like if I say you did something and you know you did not and you know that it was them, then you can reverse it. But the King of Wands, this is the same individual here, but it's like now they're in a very sticky situation, not sticky, but they're in a tough situation where they feel restricted. This King of Wands is feeling very uneasy with how things are going because they're losing control. They no longer have the upper hand because now they're the one who is having to pursue you in a in a in an as assertive way or else they will lose you. So in clarity of the King of Wands you have the Hierophant. They realize that they have to get off their high horse, swallow their pride and ego, overcome any fears and insecurities that they have and confess. The Hierophant is all about confessing to receive forgiveness. Okay? So they know that they can't run, they can't hide, they can't continue this situate this runner chaser toxic mess anymore they're stuck the only way out is by confessing their feelings for you and apologizing for how they handle things that's why you have the moon here because this individual was being very like sneaky with their feelings like i was saying earlier they were not yes they were pursuing you but they were not doing it in an assertive way or like a mature way and that's why the moon is here, you know? You never got to see just how deeply they feel for you. Um, you have the world and you have the emperor. So this individual is also completing many cycles in their life. I feel like this is a habit that this person has had for a very long time. And you had to come into their world. You had to, you had to enter their life in order to, to show them that they need to change. I feel like this is a behavior that they have gotten away with for a very long time. Um, treating people like this um, for a very long time. But like I said, the world is here. So they're being forced to put an end to that kind of behavior, put an end to that kind of past, that toxic past, and to go towards something new. They're here as the emperor. There's lots of determination here. All right, the emperor is typically all about control. The emperor likes to get things under control. He's a natural leader. He's very dominant. Um, and so this is someone who isn't just sitting back anymore and being passive. This is someone who's actually taking action to get the outcome that they want with you. So you have the Ten of Swords, okay? The Ten of Swords represents defeat or the ultimate betrayal oops oh we have the ace of swords here i didn't even i didn't even notice that it was flipped over so the ace of swords is all about clarity and it makes perfect sense because the moon came out earlier this is them wanting to bring you clarity and say their truth clarify the ten of swords hmm For a lot of you, you could be seeing someone else or very soon you will be seeing someone else because the King of Pentacles came out. This is this is a completely different energy that I'm getting with the King of Pentacles. The person who you've been dealing with, they're both the King of Cups and the King of Wands, but this King of Pentacles is someone completely different. This is a very impressive individual. This is someone who you know will be able to give you the relationship or commitment that you've been wanting that this other person wasn't able to give you, okay? And I feel like that could explain why they're feeling restricted. They realize that they can't hide their feelings for you anymore um, because now they have competition. And I always say the king of pentacles actually doesn't have competition. He's the king of abundance, you know? When the king of pentacles gives you an offer, it's guaranteed that it will be that it will bring you abundance. This is someone who's loyal, who's committal, who's mature, stable, could even be financially abundant. That is why this past person that you've been dealing with is now in the nine of swords mode. They're having sleepless nights over you. Okay, they're being unable, they're unable to sleep at the thought of someone much better, you know, taking you away from them. 
that explains why the King of Wands came out. They're feeling very uneasy and they know that they're being, you know, they're forced to confess and apologize to you with this Hierophant here. They have no other choice. Now that there's another person in your life or very soon there will be another person in your life, Virgo. So you have the Five of Wands and it was paired with the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Five of Wands. So you have multiple people here fighting over you on the back five of pentacles or very soon you will okay for for some of you this has already happened it's happening right now for others of you very soon it will virgo where it's like with the five of wands you're going to find yourself in a really big conflict here because you have opened yourself to getting to know other people you have opened yourself to you know love you're no longer and I feel like that's what's really making this person feel so nervous is they see that you are open to other people. You're open to love. You have entered the dating scene. You have recovered. You've healed from what it is that they did. And it's like they don't want you to go out there. They don't want you to see other people or get it, get to know other people. Um, as a matter of fact, you have the Eight of Pentacles here. They're manifesting you. They're doing a lot of things behind the scenes to get you. So be very careful. Like this is, you know, this is the kind of individual who may try to start problems with the other options or the other suitors that you have. They may, you know, orchestrate something behind the scenes to get rid of any other suitors that you have. So just be careful and be watchful in clarity of the five of wands you have the page of pentacles so with the page of pentacles pages represents a form of communication okay um but this is good communication this is actually them telling you what their intentions are this is they're going to be giving you a big offer there let me just say it this is an offer of a commitment a solid commitment but the timing is really bad because it's like you're coming in now that I have other people who are interested in me. Not only that, you're starting conflict with the other people who are interested in me. You're being disruptive, you know, so their approach, they need to be much more careful of, of their approach because even though they have a solid offer, you may not even value what they have to give based on the way that they're acting. Um, in clarity of the five of wands, you have the knight of wands. Yeah, this person's going to cause a commotion. They're going to cause some sort of like disruption here, um, especially for those of you who are or will be in the dating scene and getting to know other people. This is the knight of wands. This is someone who is, who has an overload of passion and determination to get what it is that they want. All right. And they're going to be doing all of this because on the back of the deck, you have the five of pentacles. So they're going to be doing all of this because, you know, they're going to be doing all of this to avoid a permanent ending between the two of you. They don't want you to no longer be loyal to them. All right, Virgo. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this reading helps. Please remember it's general. So if you're interested in a private reading, you're welcome to visit my website. The link is in the description box. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys so much. All right, and take care.